it's all about sharing my passion for what I do so that others can appreciate it and do it themselves. It's really not about a finished piece of work. It's the experience itself that is so rewarding. And being able to come to a, an environment like this that is ideal for not only teaching botanical art, but getting to do it, to also experience this facility as a way of doing botanical art is really fun to see. We draw a plant accurately. We start by observing from real plant material, not working from a photograph, but from the actual plant, and we measure it accurately, life size. Sometimes blow it up, but it's always done mathematically. We want to show the structure accurately, how parts are connected, different things as the leaf arrangement on a stem, because these are all the features that are used to identify a plant. Botanical art is especially intriguing because it takes apart the plant. It looks at the structure of the reproductive parts. It's inside the plant on the level of um, let's say an insect. So it allows a human being to kind of experience plants the way pollinators might. But you might think that uh, botanical art is so scientific that there's no artistic side to it. But that's not true at all. It's actually an amazing experience to study a plant closely and then decide on what you're going to show so that people can experience that plant. You know, I've been teaching the botanical art workshops here for now seven years, and I've had many students that come back year after year. And now I'm thinking that some of these students are ready for the next step, which is sort of get ready for a certificate in botanical art, do an independent study project, maybe something in coordination with what the garden needs to work on would be a really wonderful way of using botanical art to collaboration with the mission of this botanical garden. So I see the botanical art program as a way of doing that. excited to be a part of the NTBG program here in Botanical Art. Mm -hmm.